Ladies and gentlemen, I got some exciting news for you guys about Arsenal today as Edu has given us a message to the Arsenal fans, plus some potential Arsenal transfer links and some players that could be leaving, opening the doors for some big potential incomings. But before we go any further, please do hit that like button. Please do hit that subscribe button. Let me know what you guys think about all the most recent videos. And of course, do you think we're going to go make a big signing? Because that's what Edu's hinting at. I'm going to tell you guys more right now. Yes, yes, ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? It's Eagle Talks Football. We are back again with another video. And Arsenal Sporting Director Edu has just reportedly dropped a big hint yet that the Arsenal is not done this transfer window. We have some big, big, big potential incomings still on the cards. And with Edu dropping this bomb, I'm starting to get a little excited. Now, before we go any further and talk about what Edu said, I'm just going to tell you guys what we could potentially do as we are linked to a lot of players. First of all, we've just signed Calafuri. We look like we're going to get the Mikel Moreno deal done and dusted very, very soon. As you guys already know, the Mikel Moreno deal is not too far away. Rumor has it that that deal will be done very soon. We just don't know exactly how long it might take. But what Edu said that got everyone so excited is very simple. Edu said, be patient. You won't be disappointed at the end. That's what he said to the hybrid. Uh, that's what he said to, to, to my guy here. And of course, it was also backed up by, by numerous reports, even Sky Sports saying that Edu said, be patient you won't be disappointed at the end and they'll be expecting so with that with those with those kind of things being said in my opinion that means there there's more signings why would why would edu put more pressure on himself to get deals done if if if, if he didn't have something big coming now first things first we know the moreno deal is done but we also found out today that we got some injuries so I'm quickly going to tell you guys about the injuries before we talk about the transfers. Don't go nowhere, but we got to talk about this. First of all, Fabrizio Romano reporting that on, on, on Tom Yasu's injury. It will take a week on that one. Unfortunately, he's going. we're going to have to be patient with him. Timber will be back in uh, training uh, with the club also next week. So Timber will be back next week. And for Tom Yasu, we have to be patient. We don't know exactly how long he's going to be. But Arteta did just say in that tweet, if I'm not mistaken, if I read it correctly, that it will take a week on that one. So maybe after a week, he'll be ready. And also, there's another injury that we need to report before we move on to the incoming transfers. Fabio Vieira missed the game today uh, due to a, a slight hip issue. But it shouldn't be anything to keep him out of the Wolves game as he sh he should be featuring in that game if he as a, as a substitute at best, in my opinion. So he's not going to start regardless. Anyways, let's get straight into the main business. Arsenal are looking for a backup for Bakayo Saka. Arsenal are looking to get Mikel Moreno over the line. So we already know Mikel Moreno is going to happen, guys. No need to no need to panic about the Mikel no need to panic about the Mikel Moreno deal. That is that is going to happen. We know about Mikel Moreno. We are potentially going to get that deal done very soon. Uh, Team News Ticks did report the other day. If I'm, not, if I'm not mistaken, Team News Ticks did report the other day that it is officially done. He will join Arsenal next week as reported by Team News Ticks. So we are still just waiting. We are a week away from Miguel Moreno being officially done. We're gonna, we're, the club is actually going to probably announce him before the season starts. So we'll see. We'll see. That one, we'll just wait and see as we don't have enough information on that one yet. Um, what we do have information on is Eddie Nketiah. Eddie Nketiah did not feature today in the game forces uh, versus Leon. That is a hint that he could potentially be leaving uh, to Mar uh, Marseille. Yes, Eddie Nketiah potentially leaving to Marseille is on the cards. Marseille are willing to spend a decent amount of money on Eddie Nketiah. Last time I checked, uh, 
the most recent information that we've gotten on the whole situation with Eddie and Ketia is quite simple. This is what it is. Um, Arsenal are continuously in negotiation with Marseille. Arsenal are are looking to get a loan with an obligation to buy around 25 million. And of course, the Zerbi wants the Englishman, but initially they did offer us 17 million, which we rejected uh, last month. So hopefully we can get a deal agreed. Eddie Nketiah wants the move and hopefully we can get the, the, the transfer fee that we want for Eddie Nketiah. That is going to be crucial because we're most likely going to use that money to try to get a certain signing over the line. And you know who that signing is? None other than Victor Jokeres. Arsenal are in pursuit for Victor Jokeres and continue their pursuit for the sporting Lisbon Victor Jokeres during his summer, tra uh, during his preseason, he's been on fire also. Just to let you guys know, according to Cordela de la Sport, Gunners are very active in their bid to uh, for Jokeres and could cost up to 70 million pounds. Uh, the North London club is also unlikely to move for Victor Ozyman due to his expensive release clause, which nobody is ever going to pay anyways. So therefore, Arsenal are ramping up the interest in the Swede. I think if we do sign any striker, ladies and gentlemen, it will probably be Victor Jokeres. There is no striker in the market right now that's available besides, besides Victor Jokeres that I, I think we would end up getting. Victor Ozyman, if we do get him, I'll be extremely surprised. And that might be a loan with an obligation to buy if we do get Victor Ozyman. But if we do get Victor Jokerez, 70 million, personally for me, I would try my best to go and get Isaac and just say test Newcastle's resolve. But if we can get Victor uh, Jokerez, definitely improves our attack, brings in a killer. And let's see if we do get this deal done because as the window gets closer and closer, and especially Edu just dropping the hint that be patient, something big, so you won't be disappointed at the end. Maybe he's talking about a, a certain a certain uh, player that uh, that's playing in, you know, for Sporting. Also, we have heard about a potential link to some other players. So let me just show you guys who what the other players that we are potentially linked to. Also, we have been linked to Victor Ozyman, and the Napoli director has confirmed that the striker has asked the club to leave, and Arsenal are one of the clubs that are currently interested in him so we'll have to wait and see if anything happens with Victor Ozyman as one side of the report you're hearing that Arsenal might not be interested in paying the release clause but on the other side Victor Ozyman is putting in transfer requests that might be the thing that helps trigger a transfer away from Napoli potentially to Arsenal we'll have to wait and see um next what is next? Uh, so we've already spoken about Victor Osman. We've already spoken about the injury situation. We've spoken about that. We've also spoken about Eddie Nketiah, Victor Jokerez, Edu's conversation, all these things being spoken about. But there's one more. Everybody's always speaking about a backup for Bakayo Saka. Who's going to be the backup for Bakayo Saka? Well, it could be Brighton's Simon Adingra with a huge huge potential tra summer transfer move on the cards as reported by team news ticks arsenal this could arsenal fans this could be our bakayo saka backup this could be the bakayo saka pl uh, the player that pushes bakayo saka the player that comes in and and is predominantly going to play on the right hand side on that side to try to push bakayo saka and get him maybe to lose his place or to just give him well do rest when we need it you know what i mean but yeah I personally think Adingra is a quality, quality, quality player, but is slightly on the inexperienced side, if I'm not mistaken. As I think Samuel Adingra, how how old is he? Like he's quite young, and another youngster jo joining this ranks. He'd be 22 years old, and if I'm not mistaken, he's only played one year at Brighton. Last year, he scored six goals and got one assist in the Premier League. Um, so maybe maybe it could work. Yeah, he does he does look like he has potential. Is Simon Odingra a yes or no? Who says no to this potential transfer? Who says yes? What do you guys think about Arsenal signing Udingra as a potential backup to Bukayo Saka? And also when you want when you when you look for a backup to a player like Bukayo Saka who plays so much, you don't necessarily need somebody who's gonna be 
playing week in, week out and just forcing them out of the side. You just need somebody who can be adequate competition for places and somebody who can come in and do a job. I think Odingra has shown at Brighton he can definitely do a job and he still has the potential to become even a better player. So we'll have to wait and see if this does materialize. But with the exciting news that Edu said today that Arsenal fans won't be disappointed, I wouldn't be surprised if, if another attacking option came in and Odingra could potentially be that target. We'll have to wait and see. There is also rumors about uh, Rodrigo from uh, Real Madrid, but nothing concrete at this moment in time. So I'm not going to bother you guys on that one. But hey, this is it for today. Arsenal Transfer News. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you guys checked out my match reaction for the Leon game also. I do have that posted. And if you don't even have time to go watch that whole video, just go do me a favor. Go like that video and leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the game. And in this video, if you can leave a comment, let me know. Would you take Simon or Dingra? Who do you think Arsenal will sign? Ozzyman or Victor Jokerez? And also... Mikel Moreno is going to get done. Don't worry about it. Just karma. It's pending. Very soon it will be there. But yeah, that's it for today. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video. I'm out and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.